All right, now it's time for data points and looking at the amount of rainfall the country has received over the past one month and also projecting uh, what could be in the month of May. And of course, the Kenya Meteorological Department is saying that the month of April was the peak of the long rains, of the long rain season uh, for most parts of the country. But the area that is at the coastal region will be having their peak in the month of um, um, May. But they are saying that severe storms were witnessed across the country. Looking into the highest recorded amount of rainfall across different parts of the country for the month of April up until 26th of April, this is how it looked. Miad Kadongu, which is a weather station in Kirinyaga or rainfall recording station in Kirinyaga, recorded up to 769.9 millimeters. So that is to mean about 769 liters of water in a square. Uh, meter area. We'll be getting into details about that. Kabete in Kiambu County followed with 623 millimeters. Uh, Kianamu in Embu County was 616.5 millimeters. Dagoreti Station in Nairobi was 614.5 millimeters, while Ngong Station in Kajado was 573. Um, millimeters. Then Dakaini in Muranga County was 560.7 millimeters, while Muka in Makweni County was 538.7 millimeters. These are some of the leading areas in terms of the amount of rainfall received in the month. Uh, but there are some areas that really stood out when it comes to the amount of rainfall recorded within 24 hours. And again, Mied Kadongu in Kirinyaga County recorded the highest amount of rainfall. One of the dates that has been given by the Meteorological Department, it was 173.3 millimeters in 24 hours, then that is quite a lot of water uh, in such a short period of time. Mwasuma in Kitwe was 171.7 millimeters. Ngo Masumba in Makueni was 152.8 millimeters, while Thika a Station in Kambu County was 150.3 millimeters, and Nia in Mwea, that is, I believe that is National Irrigation or something like that, uh, in Kirinyaga was 147 uh, millimeters of rainfall within 24 hours. Let's take a look at what exactly 173.3 millimeters means. This is amount of rain. If you have um, a one by one um, one meter square uh, container, then you'd have 173.3 liters of water, meaning the height would be about 17.3 centimeters or equivalent to 8.6 gallons of 20 liters of water pounding an area within 24 hours. So that's quite a, quite a lot of water uh, for an area to receive, and that was the highest in the country in the month of April. Now, there's something important here to note, based on the historical perspective of the amount of rainfall, which the meteorological department calls the long-term mean. So, historically, these areas have received this average of amount of rainfall. For instance, the, the area Lodua historically has been receiving the red bar amount of, uh, amount of uh, rainfall. But in April, it went up to this. In an area like Machakos, the average amount of rainfall received was just over 100 millimeters. But now this time around in the month of uh, April, it's almost 500. If you had to go to Dagoreti in Nairobi, they have ordinarily been receiving just over 200 millimeters um, of rainfall on average the past many years. But now this April alone received over 600. So you can see the blue bars are the amount of rainfall in April. The red bars is the average that most of these parts have received over uh, the years. And uh, that average may go up to uh, 30 years based on the analysis by the meteorological department. So you can see that really uh, we're having such a wet season. And the forecast by the meteorological department is that uh, uh, the intensity of the rainfall may re reduce in the month of May, but they are saying that uh, the amount of rainfall will still be near average to above average, meaning just the figure that we looked at here, which is um, um, average. So some areas may receive rainfall that is near average, but some will still receive above average rainfall. So we're waiting to see the amount of rainfall that will be recorded uh, during this month. Then again, um, so that is about uh, the amount of rainfall that is going to uh, reduce in intensity. Now this area uh, gives you the long-term average of rainfall. So these counties you'll see um, the dark ones that like Turkana and Wajir, these are areas that have historically received up to 50 millimeters of rainfall. Um, the purple ones are areas that have received more than 300 millimeters of rainfall. Uh, this is 
um, uh, such like areas. So most which appear to be around um, the areas of Moranga, the areas of uh, Mount Kenya, the areas of uh, Samburu, West Pokot, may have received between 101 to 150 millimeters of rainfall historically uh, based on the long-term average. But now that is changing, and this is how it's looking according to the meteorological department. So these the very dark areas would show you that uh, uh, for the month of May, the forecast is that these areas are going to receive rainfall that is above average. The areas that are light green are areas that you receive near average or uh, near above average rainfall. So you can see, again, the month of May will be um, uh, more wet than what has been witnessed historically uh, based on the records of the Kenya Meteorological Department. Now, there are disaster warnings that um, the Kenya Meteorological Department is giving. Like the areas in the Lake uh, Victoria Basin, this is that area, uh, that is the areas of Siaya, Kisumu, Homa Bay, Migori, and Busia. The areas of uh, coastal region that are colored in purple and the highlands west of the Rift Valley that you'll find um, some parts in Kisi, Nyamira, Bumet, Nandi, Kakamega, uh, Vihiga, West Pokot, El Gio Marakwet, Ranzoe, and Wasin Gishu are areas that uh, there could be disaster, of course, because of uh, the uh, closeness to a water body. And therefore, also they are lowlands, so there is a potential flooding, but also the areas that are, have highlands, then there is the risk of landslide or mudslide. And then they're also warning there could be health risks, especially when it comes to malaria, uh, the breeding of um, mosquitoes. And of course, they're saying that um, there is need for the public health officials to really deal with this by uh, providing treated uh, mosquito nets uh, to take care of that. Then there's the risk of waterborne diseases, especially because uh, most of the water bodies are contaminated uh, because of the flooding. This may also spill into domestic uh, water, water for domestic use, and therefore causing some risks like a cold and other uh, complications that may come. And that is a data point this week as we continue to focus on the intensity of rainfall. Of course, you've had uh, the Kenya Meteorological Department warning of the tropical cyclone Hidaya that may hit the uh, coastal uh, strip of the country and warning people living close there uh, to be cautious and to avoid such areas uh, because that may be catastrophic uh, should it happen. And that is data point again. We take a short break here. When we come back, we have so much more.